Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the week of July 27th of 2020 spiritual advice reading. I'm going to start out with the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. So here we go. Once I complete this Celtic spread, I will clarify with uh, a message from the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn and the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. So, dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever cancer I'm reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, with clearly defined messages regarding the week of July 27th of 2020. Boom. World. Major Arcana. A path has gone full circle, and now there has been a shift in my perspective. So someone is seeing things really differently at the beginning of the week of July 27th of 2020. For they have been looking in their thoughts position with the seven of air energy at their connections with another or others. This is when we start, we try to figure out, do I belong? Do I not? For some cancers, a path has gone full circle, and now you're looking at your connections with others, and you're contemplating things from a different perspective. Ah, but is it healthy, Cancer? For in your foundation, you have the five of water. This is a call to release old grievances. Do I want to continue this battle? even if it's deep within. For in the past, I had to forgive. Some cancers uh, were given the nine of air energies during the first half of July of 2022. Forgive um, a person, an experience. So that you can let go of these grievances that are right in your foundation. Now by midweek, we have a cancer who is dealing with an emperor. Now this could be someone who's in a leadership position, someone who is uh, financially abundant, secure, and stable. Someone who sets goals and meets goals and gets things done. It could very well be that one path no longer serves you. A group of people... And now you are moving into the portal of owning your own business. But there's definitely a call for forgiveness and a need to get clear on where it is that you belong. Whichever cancer this is. Wow. So in the actions position, we have the Ten of Fire. And in this deck, this is about burning away. From old emotions, circumstances, situations, or environments. Because you've now received a shift in perspective. Somehow, as you released and forgave a situation, you can now burn away from it emotionally. You'll feel like you can let go because you are going into a path of stability here. Or you're connecting with someone who can guide you to stability during this week, Cancer. So in the spiritual advice position, we have the page of fire. Exciting communication about action. Exciting communication. Some cancers have been trying to forgive a situation. You're recognizing that you can let it go now. You can move into a new path. You can burn away from that passionate situation that you're not, that doesn't exist anymore. And now some of you, the emperor represents Aries. Some cancers may be communicating with someone who has Aries in their chart or with someone who's in a leadership position and you're trying to leave an old connection circumstance situation behind because you're hitting a glass ceiling for some. So in the hopes and fears position, there's definitely hope that someone will come in that mirrors you, that you feel harmonious with. So it's time to get clear that you are done with something and open your heart to new ideas, projects, connections. 
during this week of July 27th of 2020. Boom. Now, this is interesting. I see this a couple ways. In the outcome position, we have the king of earth. It could be that cancer is saying, you know, I went, I learned, I forgave, I let go, and now I don't belong there anymore. Now I'm going to create my own business. I'm going to burn away from, uh, with the ten of fire, an old uh, passionate connection, circumstance, situation, job, family. And now I'm going to communicate out to others in hopes that there will be harmonious responses here when it comes to starting my own business, when it comes to climbing into a better position of abundance. Some are going to communicate their truth about what they want in a relationship, about what they want in a partnership. And there's hope here that someone will agree with you. Some cancers may be thinking by the end of the month of July of 2020 about an older uh, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, if they come off a little bit cold and closed off, I feel like they're just really uh, focused on what they do. They're busy. But there will be some form of small communication. But this small communication is, this cancer is trying to figure it out. Is this my peeps? You know, is this my person? Is this my job? Is this my idea? What should I go with? Which should I do? Well, we have on the bottom of the deck the six of water. So this is about coming together with others in hopes that you can celebrate a wish come true I see here. Some may be wanting to connect with someone tied to their past or their childhood, but I think Spirit's saying it's done. Forgive, forget, let go, move forward. And that could be what the shift is about this week. I'm now passionately excited about new directions, new connections. Some of you may meet someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. If you're single by the end of July of 2020. So I'm going to clarify this reading by bringing in a message from the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels for cancer. Sit in the present moment, right? Think about what you're letting go of. Do I belong? Do I not? Um, what are my grievances? I have the strength to burn away from a connection and to connect to uh, better, more harmonious circumstances or people. But I am fully present in the here and now. And I have faith. That as I sit with energies of grace, as I give and receive love, which is just patience and kindness, and pray to spirit, I know that I will obtain more self-respect. As I sit in the present moment, I forgive, I let go. I recognize that through my goals and intentions or a passionate connection that I need to take control and communicate where this is headed to make sure it is in balance. But definitely take the risk. The two of water could very well be a new direction, a new connection, a more financially abundant, secure and stable situation. So during this week, you know, go through that process. Someone's going to know whose energies these are, and you can burn away now from an old situation involving maybe home, family, or business, friends, partnerships, whatever, however it applies. Ooh, and Gemini got this too, Cancer. It's time to stand in the light of your truth. What is your truth? Who treats you equally, kindly? Is there a harmonious connection? For someone here was uh, savoring some form of pleasure, but now it's time to take action. So somebody is maybe reconnecting with someone because we saw that Six of Cups and there's a bit of a desire to maybe move forward. See, like I said, they're saying take action. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. And once I step into the future and have a conversation, I will step in with strength and clarity and be able to heal from my past. I can wait before giving birth to something. I can proceed softly and slowly. I can remain open to love and know that spirit is the one who will help me to 
make the highest best decision for myself this is calling for great inner strength someone here may be very tempted someone here still needs to let go of a situation tied to their past for some this is some small communication that's passionate but that doesn't feel right so of course step forward have a conversation sit in the present moment and dwell in the reality and the truth of the situation for the truth will set us all free one way or another well interestingly enough i've been bringing in the wisdom of the house of night deck by pc cast and colette baron reed to discuss love and romance energies for the week of july 27th of 2020. clarify love and romance here for this cancer energy please okay so having the strength to shift your perspective to recognize that one path has ended and it's now time for a new path a new direction yeah i don't know if i belong with these people or if they belong with me there's a situation that is complicated i don't even know if i want to deal with the situation any longer or walk away let's see in your foundation cancer the more you release old grievances the more you can allow for fulfillment to come into your life. Yeah, look at that. In the past with the Nine of Air, that's about forgiving yourself and others. And recognizing that you forgave, you let go, and it came to a conclusion. And now you have the strength to recognize complicated situations. Because you have freed yourself from what was. You brought it to a conclusion. It's like you're stronger now. Strong enough to maintain fulfillment in your life while you observe connections with others this week. Yeah, look at that with the fledgling energies. By mid to end, mid to the end of the week of July 27th of 2020, we have the fledgling energies of education. Speaking your truth, researching, and observing. Does this path, this connection, circumstance, situation bring me fulfillment or not? For I'm going to have the strength of fire to burn away from whatever does not serve me and to remain loyal to the fulfillment I'm creating for myself. So this is about working on something that truly fulfills you and grounds you, something you like to do each day for an hour or two, writing, drawing, painting, sitting in the present moment, learning to meditate, exercise, workout, start a YouTube channel, and just observe others as they come and go. Are they loyal? Or are they not? So in the inner strengths position or the spiritual advice position, we do have small, passionate communication, but a path that is forbidden because it's complicated. It doesn't feel right. There's hope, though, that it will be a harmonious twin flame, soulmate, whatever you want to call it, connection. Look at this, the high priestess of earth having to do maybe with someone who has earth in their chart or they're financially abundant, secure, and stable. Yep. Apply, they're saying, your own uniqueness, your own individuality. Know that the, as you stand in the light of your beautiful self, you will be able to have the strength to speak the truth about loyalty. Something here is forbidden because it's complicated, but you're going to have the strength to maintain fulfillment and to release old grievances. Something's being hidden here, and it has to do with deception. Wow. And that's why... It's being blocked to protect you. Wow. So there is a temptation here for some cancers during the last week of July of 2020. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions and or would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the now summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared and subscribed. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.